WHDD presents Susan Says. The usual fears of growing pandemic, of course. I really will never leave the house. And one more thing. I'm so, so sorry and sad about Governor Cuomo. I was a huge fan. I've met him. No, he didn't grope or kiss me or hug me. I loved his father. I knew him. I'm devastated at what is going on and asking myself, how could he? Why? What was he thinking? Or obviously he was not thinking. Yes, some of the gestures are harmless, just so old fashioned or silly, but groping someone's breast, no. And I have to believe that these accusations were well vetted to come out in the devastating report, even though the AG is interested in his job, yeah, I know. And a culture of fear in the office didn't give him many allies. Unlike Al Franken, who was pushed out for nothing, Dems made a huge error. This is different in scope and number, and the governor must resign there. I said it, and 60% of New Yorkers agree. It'll be much easier for him and us rather than the ugly impeachment process. We have so many issues of importance they must be dealt with. The real problem is there's no one of stature or his brains to take over. I have never even seen the next in line. Hokel, I don't even know who she is. The cast of others waiting, no thanks. Especially our so-called mayor, really, no. Fortunately, I don't see anyone on the repug side either, so who knows? Maybe someone wonderful will turn up out of nowhere. I do know that New York needs a full-time, responsive leader, and he can't be now. Even with all his gifts and brains, He brought this on himself. It's so, so sad, and I'm so, so sorry about it. Let's do the whataboutism that the Republicans do. What about the former orange jerk? He was accused of raping a girl. Yeah. He talked about how he could do anything. He admitted it on microphone. And Matt Getz, paying for sex? What happened there? Oh, yeah, nothing. Let's face it. All these guys in politics get power crazed, and they think they can do anything. Hey, maybe women should run the world. Hmm, what do you think? As for collateral damage, poor Chris Cuomo. He's in an impossible situation being on air, unable to comment on this. What a mess for the Cuomos. They've been so important and valuable as a family, and I feel for Matilda, a lovely person who must be hurting too much. Oh, it's so, so sad. I'm so, so sorry. But we have too much to do in New York to waste any more time. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.